Okay, crazy handy, but we're not here for that, right? So share my screen again. All right, so uh, we did simplifying, we did addition, subtraction, multiplication. Now we're doing division of rational expressions slash functions. And this is a situation in function notation, but uh, I'm going to remind you again, dealing with rational expressions, especially operations, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, operations in mathematics, operations of rational expressions follow a similar idea as operations of basic fractions. So hopefully we remember how to divide fractions. So dividing fractions, um, just an example, two thirds divided by, let's make it 12, uh, Ninth, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I have a student, I was teaching a class one time and uh, I was like, how do you divide fractions? And the student goes, KFC. And I was like, what? KFC? That reminds me. I mean, they used to have good chicken. I was like, are you hungry? She goes, no. Nah. But it didn't make us hungry after. Keep, flip, change. So I stole it from her. Because <laughs> I used to, you know, used to, Say, you know, keep, change, flip. KFC sounds better because it reminds us of chicken. Everybody loves chicken, I think. <laughs> keep the first, flip the second, and change to multiplication. So like I said, in order to be able to um, divide fractions or divide rational expressions, you need to be able to multiply them. Because a division of two fractions converts when I keep the first, I flip the second, and I change the um, operation to multiplication, it converts into a product, it converts into a multiplication case, which we've done before. Um, I like to simplify first before multiplying, but two goes into two once, two goes into 12 six times, um, three goes into three once, three goes into nine three times, and ooh, look at this, three goes into three once, three goes into six twice, so I'm just simplifying real quick with numbers. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and the answer is one half. Um, I did that really quick because it just was numbers. The idea here is to do rational expressions, but it's the same idea. We're going to KFC it. KFC. But this might look ugly initially. It's not. You're told. This is an example. Let f of x equal this rational function, 9x squared minus 16 over blah. And you're going to say, let g of x represent this rational expression and find f over g of x. That's how I read this. This is function notation. All it's doing is telling you to take your function f of x and divide it by your function g of x. That is all. Division. So let me rewrite that then. Rewrite it as a division of two separate uh, rational functions. Now I'm going to um, hold on a second, copy and paste. Then I won't do that because I'm going to need space. I'm going to take it to my next page and rewrite them because I'm going to need space. So I'm going to represent these as a division problem. This is my function f of x. This was my function g of x, and I want to divide the two functions, divide the two rational functions, also rational expressions. And I'm going to KFC it. <laughs> I'm going to keep the first the same. So let's keep it, right? 9x squared minus 16. I'm not changing it. I'm copying it down. 3x squared plus 17x minus 28. I'm going to F. <laughs> Flip the second one. So it becomes the reciprocal, which means the bottom goes on top. The x squared plus 5x minus 14 on top. And now the 3x squared minus 2x minus 8 on the bottom. So I had to keep the first, flip the second, and then change to multiplication, and then do what I do when I multiply. What do I do when I multiply? I factor everything. And then anything in common on the top and on the bottom goes. So let's factor all these. I have four polynomials to factor. Polynomial one looks like a difference of squares, a nice special factoring case, a 3x minus 4, whatever plus, doesn't matter, 
and then a 3x minus 4. 3x plus 4 times 3x minus 4. My first one. Is, uh, okay. Polynomial number two is this guy over here. I'm going to factor him. 3x, so this is a little bit more complicated to factor because it has a coefficient in front of x squared. So I'm going to choose a 3x and an x, two things that multiply to give me 3x squared. And then I'm going to play with the 28. Trial and error. Try something. If it doesn't work, try something else. So I need factors of 28. So I'm going to try a 7 and a 4 and see how that works. Maybe right. One of them is negative, one of them is positive, but let's see. This is going to give me a 7x. And this one is going to give me a 12x. And a 7x and a 12x is never going to give me a 17. So this is not factored correctly. The 4 should not be here and the 7 should not be there. But let's see if I put the 4 here and the 7 here, if that makes a difference. I got a 21x and a 4x, which could give me a 17 if the 21x is positive and the 4x is minus, because 21x minus 4x is 17x. So I want my, um, my 21 to be positive and my 4x to be negative. And I'm going to verify 3x times x is 3x squared. Negative 4 times positive 7 is negative 28. My signs are matching and my numbers are matching. And then my outer was positive 21 minus 4x, which gives me 17x. And this is factored correctly. So I'm going to get rid of this and factor my next situation, which is over here, polynomial number 3, we'll call it which is a lighter factoring situation, an x and an x. Two numbers that multiply to give me 14, that add to give me 5. So I want it to be a negative 14 and a positive 5. So a plus 7 and a minus 2. And then last but not least, polynomial 4. We want to factor that one out, which is a little bit more complicated because of the coefficients again here, which just so happens to be another 3 a 3x and an x, but I need numbers to multiply to give me 8. So we'll try a 4 and a 2. And let's see, outer is going to give me a 6x, and inner is going to give me a 4x. That actually works to get 2x, as long as the 6x is negative, because I want a negative 2x, and the 4x is positive. So the 6x came from here, minus, and the 4x came from here, positive. And I'm just going to quick check. 3x times x is 3x squared. Positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So my signs and my numbers are matching. And my outer was negative 6x, and my inner was 4x, which combines to give me negative 2x. And this guy's factored. Oh, lovely. Which is why you want to be really good with your factoring, right? Because obviously there's a lot of it involved here. And anything on top that has something in common with the bottom. So let's see. x plus 7 x plus 7, 3x minus 4, 3x minus 4. Ooh, look at this one, 3x plus 4, 3x plus 4, and x minus 2x, everything cancels. But this is not 0, right? When I divide a number by itself, I get 1. 3 divided by 2 is 1, 3 divided by 3. Anything divided by itself is 1. So this whole thing is equal to 1. Boom. This division, this quotient, all this is one. Oh, lovely. Don't you love math? <laughs> all right, so at the end of the day, the idea is that you are a KF scene, right? To divide rational expressions, you need to keep, flip, change. KFC, keep the first, flip the second, change to multiplication and use your methods of multiple, uh, multiplication of rational expressions to go ahead and finish it off. Mm -hmm.